Hey guys, I'm Jay, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to modify your Elite Alpha Trooper. I know I just put this the video on this up yesterday. You can check out the little review I did up here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get right into modifying this. Uh, it might be shaky cam again. I'll try it with the tripod, and if the tripod doesn't work, uh, then I'll just have to hold the camera while I show you what the internals look like. I'm going to be giving you an in-depth look at what's going on inside here, and... Uh, how you can improve it to get the most from the stock spring and all that jazz. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take this apart and show you what it looks like on the inside. Uh, this shell is exactly the same as the regular Alpha Trooper, but that is where the similarities end. All right, guys. So I figured I'd just kind of do the handheld thing. So sorry if it's a little shaky. My I don't I don't trust the the tripod at all. It's got this huge crack in the the top of it, and it's not just not staying upright. So this is a look at the internals. Um, the all orange is kind of throwing me off a little bit. It's weird. Um, it's in that regard, it's the same as the the reverse plunger stuff. But um, here we can see. Let me focus. That it's direct plunger, and um, all the locks are pretty much the same as the regular Alpha Trooper. One thing I did notice, let's see if I can get close here. Come on, focus. If you can see, there's this little nub that actually kind of locks into the bolt sled, and I, I didn't notice that. That's definitely not on the regular Alpha Trooper, and I, I'm guessing that's keeping it primed forward. Um, well, part of what's keeping it primed forward, the other part is like a, a locking mechanism. So, in here... Uh, you can definitely remove that lock. I'm going to be taking the entire assembly out and uh, giving you guys an in-depth look at that. Um, it still has a slam fire mechanism. The I'm going to be shaving down the little part that catches the bolt door on the bolt sled, so I'll be showing you how to do that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and remove the parts and uh, talk about each one individually. Alright guys, so here's your first look at the breech assembly outside of the shell, and uh, I'm going to turn it around for you guys and show you guys what the air restrictor looks like in the back there. It's very, you know, minuscule, minimal stuff done. So I'm going to be drilling through that. I caught lights on my the metal rod. And the metal rod just takes a little uh, maneuvering to get out. You don't actually have to take the whole uh, barrel assembly out to get the metal rod out. Uh, but we're going to get rid of this lock and this lock. So... Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna like cut it off here. I'm not gonna like bother trying to, you know, take out the assembly or anything like that. That's the easiest thing. And this is the clip lock slash bolt uh, jam door lock, and it's just annoying. And this just catches on the bolt slide, so it's also annoying. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and uh, then show you what I'm gonna do with the air restrictor. Alright guys, so I've removed the jam door lock from here and the bolt sled lock from there. And now I'm going to drill a hole through the air restrictor. And my theory is that um, I, I was watching Boba Lolo's review of the Alpha Trooper and in it he said uh, he tried shooting uh, regular streamlines and they weren't going. <laughs> and my theory is, is that the dart peg inside this thing, I don't know if you can see it. See that in there? The dart peg, my theory is that the dart peg is just a little bit too long. So I'm just going to drill the dart peg out completely. Hopefully. I should be able to do it. So I'm going to drill the AR out and get rid of that pesky dart peg. And hopefully after this it should be able to shoot regular streamlines just fine. So I'm going to show you that after it's done. Yeah. And I apologize guys, my desk is really messy. Uh, it's the end of the semester so things are a little hectic. But yeah. Alright guys, so I have drilled through the breech and it is completely clean. You can see all the way through it now. Uh, and it, it takes a while. It's uh, much like the other breeches, uh, other air restrictors within breeches that I've, I've worked with. Um, there's a little ring of plastic that you really have to beat the shit out of to get, uh, to get, uh, get out. You pretty much have to break it. Um, and I just kind of alternated between, um, what is this, uh, 1 8th three sixteenths and one fourth drill bit and I just kinda blasted away at it until everything was gone and uh, so I removed the dart peg and I assume that now it'll be able to shoot regular streamlines 
pretty well. So I'm going to put it back together and fire it for you. Uh, so one last thing guys, um, I dremeled down this little notch here. Let me focus. Pain in the butt. I'm going to do that. But uh, yeah, so I used my handy dandy dremel and just dremeled that down completely. And that catches on the bottom part of the jam door, which is right here. Uh. So yeah, um, so now I'm going to put it back together. Yeah. Alright guys, I have the Elite Alpha Trooper all back together. Um, the lock that I took out that wasn't the one connected to the breech that, so it's not the one that's the, the clip lock, that actually, what that does is it makes it so when I prime it forward, it doesn't lock forward. So I can actually prime it back again, and forward and back and forward, you know, however many times I care to do that. So if you prime it accidentally without a clip in it, Dry firing it isn't a good idea now. Um, the the power output is is very noticeable, but now you know if you take that lock out, you can you can bring the breech back again. Uh, you can't deprime it because of the slam fire mechanism, but um, I have a 12 clip in here with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten darts in it. I have two uh, regular streamlines to start with, and uh, I'm just going to fire them for you. Ooh, and there I dry fired it. And as you can see, I can move the uh, jam door. Uh, and it's completely independent of the bolt sled now. Uh, and it's nice because it's not its not a very like slippery jam door. It actually kind of stays closed or open depending, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, I can remove the clip pretty easily. I can insert it with the breech closed pretty easily. Uh, the With the clip lock removed, it actually loads a lot cleaner. So yeah, overall, I'm really impressed with the improvements that Nerf did for the Elite Alpha Trooper. I really like it. I think it's great. It is going to be my new primary for a while. Um, I just love it, and I'm so happy that they came out with an Elite version of the Alpha Trooper. Granted, the Massacre Kit is definitely more powerful than this, as it is right now, but I will be getting a 5kg spring for it, and it will kick major butt. So yeah, if you like what you see, please subscribe. Remember, modding can damage the internals of the gun, so do so at your own risk. I am not in any way responsible for you damaging your blaster. So yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, so yeah, mod at your own risk. If you like what you see, please subscribe so I can keep making more videos, and yeah... Have a nice night, and uh, good luck with finals, if any of you guys are in college. Yeah. When I'm modding, there's nothing I like more than a refreshing Dr. Pepper. Trust me, I'm a doctor.